afternoon jacket Saturday the 3rd of January, which means... Happy New Year! It's 2015. That was pathetic. Jack, around New Year's there's always a lot of talk of this whole New Year, New Me thing, which kind of suggests to me that we want to forget 2014, we want to say that's in the past and we'll move on. Which I think is a real shame. So here is a glass half full news look at the biggest news stories of 2014. First up, it's Ebola. So Ebola is pretty unanimously a terrible story. Um, 8,000 people have died since the outbreak, um, but normally there would be a death rate of normally between 25 and 90 percent. And at the moment, with this outbreak, it's only about 70 percent, which I think wouldn't be possible without the help from lots of people all around the world. In fact, more than 3,000 people from all over the world have gone to West Africa to volunteer. Also, literally hundreds of millions of dollars have been donated to the cause. I'm not entirely sure how much. I saw one source that said 180 million, and I saw another source that said 600 million. So I'm guessing it's somewhere in between those two. Either way, it's a lot of money, and a lot more has been promised. So that's really good. Jack, I hope you'll join me in saying that our thoughts go to those that are suffering, and our thanks goes to those that are helping. Keep up the good work. Two is the missing flight situation, specifically MH370. So obviously that's another pretty terrible news situation, one that's still not been resolved at all. But the fact that 26 nations came together to search thousands of square kilometres of the ocean to provide closure for the families of those 239 passengers on board, I think is very good news. Number three, I want to talk about what went on in Ukraine. Jack, I'm sure you'll have heard about what happened in Ukraine with the protesters and what happened to them was frankly despicable, but the thousands of people that were strong enough to stand up against what seemed like a very dodgy president managed to force Yanukovych out, and a replacement has since been democratically elected, so that's great. Number four is about racism in the US. Obviously another series of terrible news stories, but maybe not one that we'd be speaking about if it wasn't for social media and the internet. And that to me is the win here. This medium, the internet that we love so dearly, has brought to light seriously systemic issues of racism in the US judicial system. And I think it's pretty clear that before you solve your own problems, you've got to recognise them. So for that to be widely known and acknowledged would be great. I just don't think it is quite yet. By the way, John Green did a really interesting video about this, got loads of statistics, so I'll put a link down below. Number five is the Scottish independence. So this was a big news story here in the UK, or what is still the UK. Regardless of the result, um, a turnout of 85% is, I think, a huge success and definitely something worth celebrating. And number six is about viral fundraising. So I might not be completely right here, but to me 2014 was the year that um, charity fundraising and internet virality, not sure what that is, um, came together. And we saw that in two examples. The first example which we both did was the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge, which raised about $100 million just in August alone, and 10% of that came from the UK. The second one, which I don't think either of us did, was the No Makeup Selfie, which raised £8 million in just six days. Both of these are incredible efforts, and I hope this idea of sort of viral charity fundraising continues on into 2015. Happy New Year, Jack. I'll see you on Wednesday.